You are listening to Productivity Straight Talk with your host, Amber De La Garza. Amber is a sought-after productivity coach, trainer, speaker, and writer who gives entrepreneurs the straight talk on personal productivity. No BS fluff or overused jargon, just actionable strategies to get results and succeed in business. And here is your host, Amber De La Garza, the productivity specialist. Welcome and thank you for listening to Productivity Straight Talk. Today is episode 184, Finding Your North Star. Gain clarity on your vision for 2021. If you're a business owner who wants to improve your time management and elevate your productivity so you can maximize profits, reduce stress, and make time for what matters most, then you're in the right place and I'm so glad you've joined me today. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to make sure that you get your hands on my free Take Back Your Time mini training. Yes, I've made it free, but free does not discount the value that you will get. In fact, I make a big promise. I promise that I will show you how to reclaim 30 minutes back each and every day in this short mini training, Take Back Your Time. So if you have not already gotten your hands on this training, what are you waiting for? Think of it as my New Year's gift to you if you have not yet grabbed it. Head on over to amberdelagarza.com forward slash take back your time. And now let's get to the straight talk. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. I am so excited that you are tuning in to Productivity Straight Talk. And guesses are you are hoping for a clean slate and a fresh new year. And along with that are probably some new goals, maybe some New Year's resolutions. And I get it. Goal setting is incredibly important. And I have many, many episodes um, here at Productivity Straight Talk about goal setting. But today I wanted to approach goal setting or the first of the year a little bit different. And I want to talk to you about identifying your North Star. Your North Star. What is your North Star and what does that mean? It means you know exactly what it is that you and your business are going to focus on. What is it that you that is going to lead the way? What is it that is going to allow you to say yes to opportunities or no to opportunities? What is your North Star that when you filter through and think about all the things that you could say yes to investing your time in, what it is that will take you towards your North Star or away from your North Star? Now, with goal setting, I do have some episodes talking about what your number one business goal should be. And newsflash, there's a whole episode and I break it all down. But generally speaking, your number one business goal should be your revenue goal because we need healthy, profitable businesses. But what I've also shared in previous episodes around goal setting is that I get it. Money is not the motivator for everyone. And honestly, I don't believe it should be the motivator for everyone. For those of you that money motivates you, good for you. But guess what? That's not a ultimate motivator for many, many people. And so my North Star is identifying my motivator. The thing that will get me up when I feel Like it's really, really hard to show up in business because let's be honest, we all have those days. My North Star is what I hold on to when things get chaotic a little bit or there's a lot of decisions to be made or things are moving fast. What is that North Star that can just bring you back and on track? Before I share with you my North Star and explain to you about how I created it and exactly what it is and why it serves my business, I wanted to share with you some other ways in which you can approach goal setting differently than just writing your goals out. And one way that I've enjoyed doing year after year after year is creating a vision board. And that's exactly why I hosted the vision board happy hour several weeks ago. And it was a smashing success. This was a free event that I offered, as you may know, if you've been a listener for some time. 
for the listeners of Productivity Straight Talk so we could come together virtually and create our vision boards. And what happened there is pretty magical, I believe, because not only was I giving getting great feedback during the happy hour, but afterwards, people were sending me their vision boards. They were snapshotting it. They were sending me links to their digital uh, vision boards. And I got so much feedback on how valuable it was. It was either something they had done many years ago and just never created the time and space to recommit to doing it again, or it was something they wanted to do and never really showed up and did it. Whatever the reason was, during that event, so many of you showed up and you dreamed and you created a visual representation of what success looks like for you, both personally and professionally. And just like with so many things in business, well, just like so many things in life and business, there was no right or wrong way of doing it. In fact, I showed up with my scissors and glue and some magazines that I had borrowed from my husband. And shortly, within 10 to 15 minutes, I aborted mission on the way that I've always done my vision boards, which was cutting out pictures and words. Uh, And I created mine digitally because so many of you that attended the event were doing your vision boards digitally. We had people sharing their vision boards, and there were some of you that did it by quarter. So you did Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 about what your focus and vision for accomplishing and what you wanted to create for each quarter of next year. Others of you created vision boards based on one for business, one for personal. Some of you created one big vision board that incorporated all all parts of you, both personally and professionally on one board. I even had a client do a complete vision board wall. And it was magnetic wallpaper where she was sharing in each area of her life, creating a visual representation of her vision of success. But what I found to be so magical was how each of you were supporting each other and how each of you showed up and said yes to yourselves. And so if you have not yet done your vision board for 2021, it is not too late. In fact, anytime you're listening to this episode, it is not too late to stop and create space and time to dream, to put words and imagery to what it is that you want to accomplish and experience in your life. I actually realized that much of my vision board was was words about what I wanted to experience along the journey of this thing we call life. And the vision board for me has proven to be so instrumental in creation. And I'm going to share a couple stories that I shared on that event with you so that you can get an idea of how impactful it is to have such a clear, clear vision of what it is you want to create, which will leap us and lead us to me sharing my North Star in my business. On my vision board in years past, I have had things on there such as the exact car that I wanted. Now, when I say the exact car that I wanted, I'm telling you, I knew what color the exterior, the interior was. I knew what engine would be in it. I knew what year it was, all the way down to that it was going to be a used car that was less than six months old with very low mileage, and that somebody had bought it brand new at full price and had to return it in pristine condition. And that is exactly what happened. That is exactly what I created. I've also had on my vision board in past years, me speaking on particular stages in front of specific audiences that I wanted to get in front of and wearing red shoes because the red shoes like just signified powerful and confident and just was that vision that I held in my mind's eye of what I wanted to create. And that came to fruition. And hands down, when that opportunity presented itself, I knew what pair of shoes I was going to be wearing on that stage. I also have another example that is quite funny. My big dream is to have a home that is fully 
decorated by a talented interior designer where I just write the check and I say I want everything new and I want it all designed. This for me is just something that I have been working towards saving for and dreaming and just wanting for several years. So I had interior design on my vision board several years ago. Well, what happened was because I wasn't specific enough, interior design has now infiltrated every aspect of my life and my business. I have some very dear friends that are interior designers. I have the most amazing coaching clients that are interior designers. I've made the most amazing friends with Luann Nigera, and I coach her, and she is one of the top leaders in the interior design space with her podcast, A Well-Designed Business. I am co-authoring a book um, with Luann Nigera and eight other co-authors for the interior design space. Now, I know that one seed of me putting that on my board and seeing it over and over again was by no accident that I've created interior design as a huge part of my everyday life because, well, it was on my vision board. And two, I wasn't clear enough to say specifically interior design for my dream home. But needless to say, these are all stepping stones to my dream home being fully decorated by a talented interior designer, no doubt. So I'm okay with the results, but it's a good reminder about the clarity that we need so that we can create it because that's what's possible. When we don't really know where we're going or what we want, don't be surprised if you just get whatever's handed to you. And for me, I like to be in the driver's seat. I like to be the co-creator of what's happening in my life. And one of the ways to do that is obviously a vision board and And also goal setting, having great intentions for what it is you want to create in your business and in your personal life. But this all brings me to the North Star. So in my business, year after year, I have created very specific revenue goals in my business and profitability goals. And that isn't generally enough to motivate me by any means. That revenue needs to matter to me much further than the dollar amount. And so my North Star is how many small business owners I can serve through coaching or supporting them in my business in some other way. And my North Star for 2021 has never been brighter has never been clearer. I've never been more steadfast in what my North Star is and what my business is created for and what the team has been created for and what our purpose is than in 2021. And my North Star for 2021 is to serve 125 small business owners inside Leverage Lab. Leverage Lab is my coaching, training, and accountability program. And it was created because of my desire to help more business owners. It was created and offered at a price point because I asked different questions of myself and my team during 2021, where I felt that having my business serve in the capacity of one-on-one coaching or VIP days or speaking was not enough. That while the business was doing great, while we were serving our clients amazingly, that deep desire to serve more business owners and to offer it at a price point that was a no-brainer where the value superseded multiples of the monthly investment, these are the questions I asked myself. How can I create something that is transformational? How can I give them access to coaching and time with me at a price that no matter what industry the business owner is in, no matter what economy we find ourselves in in 2021 or beyond, that they can say yes to this so that they can can improve their time management. They can learn how to build their team. They can learn how to leverage themselves. And that was Leverage Lab. And so 
as the year was going on, we were behind the scenes building this out and creating it and doing all the things that it took to launch it in Q4 of 2020. And as we were looking at what worked and what didn't work in 2020, it was a resounding yes to Leverage Lab. And so for my team, when we had our team meeting and when we set our goals and when we determined what projects we were working on, everything was certain that our North Star was how to serve 125 small business owners in Leverage Lab. Now, I hope you can hear how confident and how certain I am of this. And we may very well blow that number out of the water and serve even more. I am definitely open to that. But that number is not just a number. That number represents names that will go on my wall. It represents the conversations I'll have. It represents the businesses that I can touch, that my team and I can serve. And that North Star is the clarity that I need no matter what path is laid in front of me in 2021. And if you have found yourself on a rocky terrain, if you have found yourself hitting a dead end or a fork in the road or a big, big, tall mountain plopped right in front of your entrepreneurial journey, just know that if you take the time to find your North Star, why do you do what you do? Who is it that you will serve? Why does it matter that you show up every single day in your business? I guarantee you'll figure out how to get through the mountain, around the mountain, or over that mountain if you have your North Star. Now, for me, this certainty created so much confidence and clarity around decision-making at every level of my business. It also gave my team the unified goal of being able to communicate how each of their roles contribute to how we will serve 125 small business owners in Leverage Lab in 2021. That is powerful when you can get your team wrapped around the same exact clear vision in your business. So I turn this over to you. What is your North Star? What does the revenue in your business actually represent? Does it represent 20 homeowners that you are completely transforming their space into this beautiful home that they're proud of, that they're comfortable in, that they're enjoying their life, their holidays, and their families with? Perhaps you're in real estate and you are going to help 50 families find their home. Like I can get so much more excited about saying I'm going to help 50 families find their perfect home than to say, I'm going to make X, Y, and Z next year. Because saying I'm going to make X, Y, and Z is about me. But when you make it about them and how you can serve them, meaning your clients, I guarantee it will change everything for you and your business. I don't care if you are an architect, an interior designer, an attorney, a farmer, you own a nail shop, a salon, you're an online business owner, a course creator, a coach. I don't care what industry you are in. You are serving someone. You are making an impact. You showing up every day matters. I want you to find out why that matters and how you will help them and who you will help. And that is your North Star. You hold on to that. You paste that on your monitor or on your walls. You have it on your screensaver on your phone and you don't lose sight of your North Star every time a decision needs to be made. Every time something gets incredibly hard or you're dealing with mindset issues, I want you to go back to your North Star. And when it's not about you, but rather the impact you were meant to make in the world, I guarantee it's a game changer. I would love to hear what your North Star is. I shared with you with much clarity and vulnerability about what my North Star is for 2021. So if we are not yet connected, I love hanging out on Instagram and you can find me at Amber 
underscore De La Garza. I want you to send me a personal DM and tell me what your North Star is. If you are not on Instagram and you're on Facebook, then DM me, message me, tell me what your North Star is. I want to hear it. I want to root you on. And I want to know that the listeners of Productivity Straight Talk are taking action. And you are starting 2021 with as much clarity as you need to rally the troops, meaning your team and yourself, around why it is you are in business and the impact you will make. I have loved having you listen to this episode of Productivity Straight Talk. I sure hope you found it valuable and I need to be straight with you. No change, no change. Without taking action, nothing will change for you or your business. So the action I'm asking you to take today is to find your North Star and communicate it. Communicate it to me in the DMs. Communicate it to your team. Communicate it to your loved ones. Put it up in your office. Once you've identified your North Star, I truly believe it's a game changer. And I want that for you in 2021. And as a reminder, if you have not already done so, in the show notes, wherever you're listening to this episode, you can click on the show notes and get your hands on my Take Back Your Time mini training. Or you can just head on over to amberdelagarza.com forward slash take back your time. And if you're interested and have not already checked out what's going on inside Leverage Lab and you're interested, be sure to head on over to amberdelagarza.com forward slash leverage lab. So that's my straight talk for you today. Until next time, have a productive week. <laughs>